I was very sick recently, and um, I basically had a flare-up of something. It's a great little disease called ulcerative colitis. Yeah, hooray for ulcerative colitis. Um, basically, it turned my digestive tract into the like the time space continuum between the two hubs of Jeff Goldblum's machine and the fly. You just never knew what was going to come out the other end. Uh, it was terrifying. It was awful. I lost a lot of weight. I felt really horrible. And throughout all this, I didn't have a good doctor, and I didn't have health insurance. So when you're going through something like this, you Google things a lot, and you find something called health forums. Health forums, oh, I mean, it's a place where people go figuratively to die. Um, as much as you can find a bunch of interesting, like, alternative therapies and information you need if you need help, there's a lot of crazy shit out there. And I wanted to read you a little bit about some of this crazy shit. Um, so I went on this health forum, and... Um, there was this woman, and her username was Healthy Peggy 54 um, And I just want to read to you a little bit about this insane bitch. Um, so, okay, so there's a thread going. It's all these people talking about what am I going to do? You know, I'm shedding blood all the time. You know, fun stuff. You see stuff. And she says, thank you. Oh, that, thanks. We met upstairs, and I know something about you. Um, okay, so this is what she wrote. And I'm going to speak it to you the way I think that healthy Peggy sounds. Okay. There is a procedure that goes by various names that may be of interest to you, and it may grow some of you out. It's called a fecal transplant, a stool transplant, or a fecal infusion. Mm, I don't want the balsamic reduction. I'll have the fecal infusion. <laughs> It cured me in two days. It has been shown to be nearly 100% effective in small trials to cure colitis. It involves administering a healthy donor stool sample via enema into the sufferer. Oh my God. So sounds disgusting, right? It is. She, I, this is what she said. It's not me, it's her. It's healthy Peggy. But it is not more disgusting living with this, or is it not disgusting what doctors give some patients? <laughs> that is drugs. <laughs> Who are these fucking crazy doctors giving people drugs? Um, so this is for real and safe, and you should know or screen your donor. It replaces your messed up bacteria for it with a healthy person's. Makes sense? I thought so. <laughs> this procedure cured my colitis. And she goes on and on. Now, Peggy kind of had me at hello. I support uh, progressive therapies, thinking outside of the box and the toilet. Um, but she kind of lost me as she went on. And, um, and this is why. <clears throat> if you can't make it to Duluth to have this done, I don't know if Duluth is the mega capital of having a, people shit put inside you. If you can't make it to Duluth, this is easy to do at home. I know. So this is what she says. First, you collect your sample, and then you put the goodies in your blender. I am not lying to you, I swear, okay? Add 300 milliliters of distilled water plus two tablespoons of salt. It's important you remember the salt. This will give you the mixture needed for infusion. The water and salt will combine to give you a 10% saline solution suitable for cleanliness. Blend this mixture on low at first, just to get it pumping. And then switch it into high speed. In just a few minutes, you will have a liquidy brown substance suitable for the next step. Don't you just want to go have frozen margaritas at her place? <laughs> Here, have a smoothie. No, Peggy, I'm fine. Now just have a smoothie. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> so this was her, her idea, and uh, there's a lots of crazy shit that healthy Peggy type, but I just want to read this bizarre response. I did fecal transplant at home. I bought a syringe with a removable tip from a local drugstore and mixed the poo with lukewarm water in a plastic <laughs> container. The poo. <laughs> I did not add salt. 
Is this like Epicurious? What the fuck is going on? I didn't use the summer squash. I like yams. I then filled the syringe with it and I put it up my butt. That's what he typed. I put it up my butt. What happened? I put it up my butt. I put it up my butt. I'm a very lucky girl. Oh, well, just wait. I did this two times. Three treatments later, and the next, and I was in remission. Wait, I'm thinking about doing this again the next time I visit my daughter. <laughs> what is she in Duluth? <laughs> this thread goes on to reveal that if you need shit put in you, your best bet is a kid. And why not your own? And there are people with pages and pages talking about, I collect Sophia's poop all the time. Da, 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 da. So watch out for your fucking kids. Because these people want their shit. And they want to put it in a blender and make a suitable brown substance. Mmm, <sighs> that was a palate cleanse, wasn't it? Uh,